Pagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. Ang ating pag-aaralan ngayon ay adding similar fractions. Papaano nga ba mag-add ng similar fractions? Matutunghayan natin ngayon yan sa video ito. Fractions are similar if they have the same denominator. Samples. One fourth, three fourths. Nine over twelve, one over twelve, three over twelve. Two and five over fifteen, and four over fifteen. Example number one. Adding simple fraction. In adding simple fractions, add the numerators and copy the common denominator. Then simplify the resulting fraction if necessary. One eight plus four eights equals. 1 plus 4, copy the, the common denominator, 8. 1 plus 4 equals 5, and the denominator is 8. Ang 5 eighths ba ay nakalowest term na? Yes. Example number 2. Let's add simple fractions again. 2 tenths plus 3 tenths equals just add the two numerators and copy the denominator. 2 plus 3 equals 5 and copy the denominator 10. Ang 5 tenths ba ay naka lowest term na? Hindi pa. Kung ganun, i-lowest term natin. Ano ang makakadivide sa 5 and 10? Or ano ang GCF ng 5 and 10? Tama, 5. Let's divide. 5 divided by 5 and 10 divided by 5 equals 1 half. Ang 1 up ba ay naka lowest term na? Yes. For example number 3. Let's add fractions and whole numbers. Rules. First, add the numerators and copy the common denominator. Add the whole numbers. Express your answer in lowest term if possible. 5 ninths plus 2 ninths plus 1 plus 4 equals our first step add the numerators. 5 plus 2 equals 7 then copy the common denominator 9 and add the whole numbers 1 plus 4 equals 5 ang 5 and 7 over 9 ba ay naka lowest term na example number 4 adding fractions and whole number 2 over 15 plus 7 plus 10 over 15 equals add the two numerators 2 plus 10 equals 12 then copy the common denominator 15 then affix whole number 7 tanong Ang 7 and 12 over 15 ba 
ay nakasimplify? Hindi. Let us simplify 7 and 12 over 15. Ano ang GCF ng 12 and 15? O makakadivide sa 12 and 15? Yes, 3. Let us divide. 12 divided by 3 and 15 divided by 3 equals 4 over 5. Then affix 7. 7 and 4 pip is our answer. Example number 5. Adding mixed numbers. 2 and 1 pip plus 4 and 2 pips plus 1 and 3 pips equals let us add the numerators 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6 then copy the common denominator 5 2 plus 4 plus 1 equals 7 ang 7 and 6 over 5 ba ay naka lowest term na? hindi pa so let us simplify 7 and 6 over 5. Bring down 7. Ang 6 over 5 ay naka-improper fraction. Gawin natin itong mixed number. Papano? Ilang 5 sa 6? Okay. Isa. Ilan ang labis? Isa din. At copy the common denominator 5. Then, 7 plus 1 equals 8. Then, affix 1 fifth. Ang sagot natin ay 8 and 1 fifth. Let's have some practice. Add and write your answer in simplest form. For solution, number 1, 6 tenths plus 5 tenths plus 2 tenths equals... Add the numerators. 6 plus 5 plus 2 equals 13. And copy the common denominator, 10. Ang 13 over 10 ba ay naka lowest term na? Or naka simplify? Hindi. Kung ganon, let's simplify. How many 10 in 13? Yes, 1. Then, ang labis, 3. And copy the denominator, 10. Your answer is 1 and 3 tenths. For solution in number 2, let's add First, add the numerators. 2 plus 4 plus 6 equals 12. Copy the denominator 18. Then add whole numbers. 2 plus 3 plus 1 equals 6. Ang 6 and 12 over 18 ba ay naka lowest term na? Yes, hindi pa. Then, let's change the lowest term. Anong, anong makakadivide sa 12 at 18? Or GCF of 12 and 18? Yes, 6. 
Let's divide. 12 divided by 6 and 18 divided by 6 equals 2 thirds. Then, affix whole number 6. Our answer is 6 and 2 thirds. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Pindutin lang ang subscribe button at notification bell para updated ka sa ating mga bagong videos. Pwede rin kayong mag-like, mag-comment, at i-share ang ating mga videos sa kapwa natin mag-aaral. Maraming salamat! Hanggang sa muli!